Hi, I'm Sam Sheridan from Sheridan Computers and today I'm going to show you how to install Unify Controller on FreeBSD. It's quite, e quite easy to do, it exists in the um, ports tree um, so it should be a fairly straightforward installation. If you'd like to hire us for any projects please head over to our website at sheridan.co.uk um, click on the hire us button, fill out the form provided, leave some details on what you're looking for and we'll get back to you. Um, via our website you can also have a look at who we are, what we do and some of the clients that we deal with. If you like this video please take the time to hit the like button and um, consider subscribing to the channel and if you hit the notification icon you'll get notifications of any new videos as they're released. Um, so we'll go, to, go ahead and um, take a look at doing the Unify controller install. So let's put it into our FreeBSD box. become root and we're going to search for unify in the FreeBSD packages and phone ringing again so as you can see um, unify 5.12.35 is currently in the FreeBSD ports tree so as we install it should literally be as simple as It's listed all the dependencies, so now we can um, go ahead and yes, install it, please. Okay, so as you can see, we've uh, now finished installing the uh, Unify port. Um, we need to go back and look at the notes. One of the things I can see straight away is snappy Java port, it's currently not a maintainer, as a result it's most likely to have unresolved issues, not be up to date or even removed in the future. Okay. Um, and there's a couple of other things that we need to add. We need to uh, update the FS tab to include this information here. I'm going to go ahead and pull up another window here, one second. Just uh, reformat this. So we've made the uh, changes we need to make to that. Um, pretty sure that's it that we need to do. So let me just have a look what we need to enable it in rc.conf. So we need to enable Mongo and we need to enable Unify. So Mongo D underscore enable and I imagine it's unify underscore enable as well. Yes it is. So let's go ahead and do that. Mongo D underscore enable equals yes. Unify underscore enable equals yes. I'm going to go ahead and give it a quick reboot. Okay, so our system has rebooted. Um, so let's go ahead and uh, make sure that the controller is listening. And as you can see, the controller is here listening on 8443 and the reports obviously that the controller uses. Um, in the configuration files for the controller, I believe in the user, local share, Java, Unify, and you can view the logs and stuff. 
Uh, so let's go ahead and pull a browser up and see if we can log in by going to uh, the IP address of our machine called 8443 and drag this across. So as you can see we have our newly created controller. So you can um, sign in with your Ubiquiti account here. If you provide the details for your Ubiquiti account, then obviously you can log in remotely as well. Um, for this, I'm not going to bother. So turn remote access off and turn Ubiquiti account access off. So let's uh, give it a username and a password. And local email. Now we've got the Unify network set up. So automatically optimize network. I generally turn this off. Enable auto backup, that's fine, you can leave that on. We've got no devices. Wi-Fi setup name, my Wi-Fi, password, my Wi-Fi pa my Wi-Fi password. Combine two gigahertz and five gigahertz names into one. Let's go ahead and do that. Uh, we can skip all this if necessary, but if you set any control up, you're going to want to do this anyway, so set your time zone. Finish. And there you have your Unify controller set up. Um, uh, one thing I will show you to do is uh, if you need to update, you can issue package update. If you issue the package update command first, it will check the uh, FreeBSD repository catalog. It will update that, and then we can issue a package upgrade, and we can um, upgrade any packages on the system if there's any available with updates. So go ahead and do package upgrade. Um, so if there was an update available, Obviously, it would have updated any packages on the system. That was a quick video to um, basically show you how easy it is to install a Unify controller on FreeBSD. Um, that's doing it from the port, so there's another way to do it, which uh, I'll probably do another video on that at some time in the near future. If you like this video, please go ahead, hit the like button. Um, consider subscribing to the channel. If you hit the notifications icon, you'll uh, get the notification of any new videos that I do. And if you'd like to hire us, please head over to the website and uh, hit the hire us button, like I mentioned at the beginning of the video.